and the privilege we have to be able to share the word of God. And I welcome you to this Sunday Divine Encounter. Hallelujah. I pray that tonight, at this very hour, wherever you are watching from, whether it is good morning or good evening or good afternoon, wherever you are, you shall encounter the Almighty God at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give adoration. Thank you for the privilege we have in you to be called your children. The privilege we have to be alive today. The special grace you have bestowed upon us, even to be able to be a partaker of your blessing at this hour. Blessed be your holy name. King of glory, as we go into your world, Father, speak to us. Amen. Let your world bring life to your people. Amen. Lord, let us have an encounter with you Amen. at this very hour. And this encounter experience, let it be the one, Father, in heaven that will last on till eternity. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. I bring greetings to you from Dominion Sanctuary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and I thank the Almighty God for what He's doing in my life, in your life, and I pray that your testimony shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, we shall be sharing briefly on the topic that is titled, See Ye First. See Ye First. Amen. And our text shall be taken from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. The book of Matthew, the gospel according to St. Matthew, the sixth chapter, and the that three verse. Amen. I read. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. I read again. But seek he first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Seeking the Lord as a priority in our lives. There is a promise of God when we are caught the position number one unto God because it made a promise that every other thing shall be had unto us. What does it mean by seeking the Lord? To seek the Lord. If you read the book of First Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 11. First Chronicles 16, verse 11. The Bible says, We should seek the Almighty God with all our strength. And we should seek Him continually. In other words, seeking God means that when we are seeking God, we should seek Him with everything in us. With all our strength. And not only that we seek Him only one time or two times, we should seek him on a continual basis, continuously. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that we should seek the law with all our heart, with all our soul, with everything inside of us. First Chronicles chapter 22, verse 19. 
encourage us that we should seek the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, with everything inside of us. So when we are talking of seeking the Lord, it means our whole being, everything inside of us. But we say, let everything that have bread praise the Lord. We should seek the Lord with everything inside of us. Yeah. And you know the reason why we have to do that? We are to seek the Lord continually and with all our strength, with all our soul, with everything in all. Because there is a time when we have to seek the Lord. And there is a time that when we seek Him, it may not be available. I pray the Lord will be available to us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6 to 7. Isaiah 55, 6 to 7. The Bible says, Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him when He is near. That automatically tells you that there are times when God is available. And there are times when He is not available. I pray that God shall be available to us every time, every day, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And most importantly, the reason why God of heaven encouraged us to seek the Lord is because so that we can live. God is saying, I ask you to seek me so that you will not die. I pray for you today, as you begin to seek the face of the Lord, God will give you life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bible says, seek me that you may live. Amos chapter 5, verse 4 to 6. So it is in our own interest that we seek the Almighty God so that we may live. Of course, you and I know very well that the opposite of life is death. And nobody wants to die. Even if you have the old people. If they live a good life, they enjoy, they eat good food, they have everything. They have children to take good care of them. Or they have already worked and kept some savings from their old age. Nobody wants to die. You shall not die. Amen. You shall live. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So that is seeking the Lord. Now, what do you mean by first? Because I'm explaining my terms now. First means, number one, the Bible says, seek ye first. That he there means seek the kingdom of God first. And that means that when you are make God your number one priority, make God your topmost priority. In other words, when we are talking about scale of preference, God is saying that you should arrange your things in the way where you put God as number one. Because in your scale of preference, according to the economies, they say that come, the most Pressing need comes as number one. So when we are talking of most pressing need, it means put God first. Seek ye for the kingdom of God. And when we are talking of righteousness, the Bible says that comes. We got our own righteousness by faith in Christ Jesus Christ. In Christ Jesus. In other words, the righteous of the righteousness of God is bestowed on every believer. You believe in the name of God, then you have the righteousness of God. And the word of God, according to Romans chapter 1, verse 17, Romans 1, 17, the Bible says, the righteousness of God is revealed unto his people. I pray for you today that God of heaven shall reveal his righteousness on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, what do we mean by all this? How am I sure? Remember, we are discussing the topic, seek ye first. How am I sure that all these things that God promised that He will add this, He will do this, He will do that for me, how am I sure that He will do it for me? What does He have? What is the pedigree? What is the track record? Because when somebody promises you something, you need to look at the pedigree, the record of that thing, for you to be able to be sure that that which He has promised to do, then... He will do it. The word of God says that God is not the man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he will repent. Because he has said it, then he will do it for you. You be God. You are not a man. No. You are God. You are not a man. No. Alpha Omega. You are God. You are God. No. You are God. You are 
am not a man. The word of God says, God is not a man that he will lie. Neither is he the son of man that he will repent. If he has promised you something, they will bring you to pass. The Bible says, his word is yea and amen. And according to Psalm 112 verse 3, Psalm 112 verse 3, how are you sure that he will do that which he promised? Oh, because the Bible says, wealth and riches are in his house. Hmm. And his righteousness endureth forever. Which means, this goal, when you are talking of wealth, you are talking of riches, the word of God confirms that they are in his house. You see people in America, you see them in Canada, you see them in Nigeria, you see them in Jamaica, you see them in South Africa, all over the world. Everybody is looking for a good life, career progression, success, wealth. Bible says, where you seek the law, you find all this in his house. Everything is embedded in him. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you look at Proverbs chapter 8, verse 18, Proverbs 8, verse 18, Bible says, riches and honor are with him. The Almighty God has riches and he has honor. And the kind of wealth that he will give you, let me say they are the way that endures. Not the one that is ephemeral, shortly. No, 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 no. It's where they will say, My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. And he did it for Solomon. According to 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 13. 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 13. He promised Solomon. He said, Come. I will give you riches and honor, and you did not ask for it. And I will make sure I confirm you that nobody will be as rich as you are, even in the world to come. That's a great promise. And I pray for you at this very hour, as you listen to this word, the encounter that God of heaven will give you will be the one that will last through your generations. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hmm. God told Solomon, you have not asked for this. I will give you riches because the boy asked for Solomon. The boy asked for wisdom. He said, you have blessed me so much. I don't need money again. Hey, I pray that God will take us to that level. Amen. Let me say that silver and gold, you have been treated like stone the days of Solomon. He said, all I need is just for you to give me the wisdom so that I can be able to manage this empire, this kingdom they have given unto me. He did it for Solomon. So if he can do it for you, that's the pedigree. That is the record of the Most High God. The Bible says, Hebrews 13, is the, the Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. The Word of God says, The God of yesterday, today, and forever, he cannot lie. What he has done before, he will do again and again. And he will do it for you today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, what are the things that he can do? He says, All oh, this shall be added. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. Based on the foundation which I have given unto you, you can see what are the things that He can do for you. This God is able to do all exceedingly abundantly, much more than you can ever think or imagine. He can give you riches, He can give you wealth, He can heal you, He answers prayer, He can give mercy. The Bible says, His wealth are measured in terms of His richness. I measure that's of how merciful he is. Our God is rich in mercy. So many things he give you career progression, he promotes you, he removes pregnancy, he blesses you financially, he, everything, whatever you can think of, this God has the power Amen. to give unto you. Well, tonight I'll be concentrating more on a very simple aspect because we have challenges all over the world, and that area is that he answers prayers. Hallelujah. This our God, this my God, the Almighty God, answers prayers. Which means everything that you ask Him, He has the power, is able, He has the capability to bring answers and solutions to all your problems. He's able. Yeah. Able God, able God, able God. You 
today, the one you pray now answers shall come. Amen. The one you have prayed before, you will receive answers to all of them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. All I want you to do is to be well up in your spirit. Because when they come to Jesus, for one problem or the other, you normally ask them, do you believe I can do this? If you believe today, the word of God is coming to your life, that all things are possible to them that believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he encouraged you, he said, come, when you seek, when you ask me anything, he said, I will give you. When you seek, you shall find. He said, when you knock at the door, he said, the door shall be open unto you. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. He said, ask, seek, and knock. He said, the door shall be open. This is like a blank check. Have you asked God for one thing or the other? If you are asked and the answer appears, appears as if it has not come. Ask again. He said, call upon me and I will answer you. He didn't say, call upon me and stop. No, no, no. no. Keep calling. Keep calling. God will answer you today. Amen. If you have asked before and you have not received answer, or it appears as if the answer has not come, call again. The word of God in Corinth, he said, oh, he said, he made all things beautiful in his own time. That is an appointed time. You know, tonight, as we are discussing this, the word of God, he said, there's something, you see, in the program of God, there is a time to There is time for everything. And I believe, I have a strong conviction in my spirit. That the time of somebody has come tonight. Amen. And you shall receive answers Amen. to all the prayers of the pray all the years. Amen. And I will hear your testimonies. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because the word of God said that for everyone that asks, they receive. Everyone that seeks, they find. And for everyone that knocks the door, they open. Matthew chapter 7, verse 8. Matthew 7, verse 8. For everyone. Which means, it's a God that answers prayer. It's a prayer answering God. So if all people can have this understanding and cry unto him, even in this particular situation, whoa, there is a promise of God, the Almighty God. This promise is not coming from a man. It's coming from the Almighty God, the one that has all the power, the creator of the heaven and earth. And God give us a challenge. He give us a challenge because he's so worried that you are not asking. John chapter 16, verse 24. John 16, verse 20. He said, if that go up to now, you have not asked anything. He said, continue to ask till your joy is full. Oh, what a big promise that we have in the Lord. He said, continue asking till your joy is full. Which means where these blessings are coming from. There is so much there that you cannot exhaust it. So keep asking. Keep asking until you have everything that you want. Amen. And everything you have been asking, tonight answer shall come. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. David said that thou anointed my hair with oil and my cup right over. And the meaning of cup, after the cup is full and it's still running and falling on the ground. He sent a clear message to you and I that where the oil is coming from, that is more than enough. Amen. We are serving a God that is more than enough. Tonight, as you encounter him, he will give you to your joy is full in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Do you lack wisdom like uh, Solomon? James 1 5 said that if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Are you in need of financial breakthrough? This is a God that brings out money. From the river. He has a bank inside the river. In the mouth of a fee, Bible says, a golden coin came out. He has control of everything. This is a God that turned barrenness to fruitfulness. He did it for Sarah. He did it for Rachel. So many people. There are so many testimonies, even in our world today. Are you looking for the fruit of the womb? This God will answer you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you infected? By coronavirus, or you are on the sick bed. Listen to me. The word of the Lord is coming to you through his son right now that be healed Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And after this God, because many at times when we are asking God for something, sometimes we are so desperate. We make so many promises. Oh God, I will serve you. God, I will do this. God, I will do that. 
after God has answered you, remember to pray your vow. Very important. Job 22, verse 27. Job 22, verse 27. The Bible says that after he has asked you, remember to give glory to him. Remember all those promises that you have made so that he can do more, more and more unto you. And he will do for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 91, verse 15. Psalm 91, verse 15. I will say that when you call upon me, I will answer you. When you are in trouble, call on me. And I will answer you. Are you in trouble today? Are you confused? Are you, have you lost your job? Do you have any lack of experience in one area of life or the other? This God is more than able. Amen. Able to bring answers and solutions to all your problems. Oh, Bible says God is near to all who call. Psalm 145, verse 18. He said, Everyone that calls, Psalm 145, verse 18. You call upon him, he says, He's very near to answer you. The word of God encourages us that when you get to a crossroad, when you are confused, when you are tired of the troubles of this life, you don't know what else to do again in your career, in your marriage. Are you lonely? Nobody to share with, nobody to discuss with, nobody to talk to. Are you, are, you, are you alone? Are you looking for life partner? Are you looking for financial breakthrough? Are you afraid? Fear? Oh, I'm going to the market. I don't want to be infected by coronavirus. God is saying, fear not. That's the word of the Lord. Amen. Trust him. He has done it before and he will do again and again. Even as we round up tonight. The one that he will do, he will answer his prayer, must be one of his own. The Bible says, God cannot give the food that belongs to the children and give it to a dog. Which means, you cannot go outside and begin to fight for somebody you don't know. Even you cannot do it. You go somewhere on the road and you see people fighting. If it's your own child, you can do everything to defend that child. But if it's not your own child, even though you may want to help, but there is a limit to what you can do. God can go to any land. My father can go to any land to fight for his own children. If you are not, if you are not one of his own, how will he fight for you? If you are not one of his own, how is he going to answer your prayers? Brethren, this is an opportunity for us to come to that throne of grace. Amen. For us to come and tap, come and enjoy that full of blessings. And he'll give you peace like a river. Amen. Because he made a promise. He said, before they call, it is good to ask God to call, but there is a greater promise. He said, before you call, I will answer. God will answer you tonight. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I encourage you to tap into that anointing, to tap into that power, to tap into that breakthrough, to tap into that only one. The Bible says, seek you first. The moment you make God your number one, the moment it takes a prime place in your life, you can be sure. It's like a contract. Employee, employee. Do your own part, and he will do his own part. Your own part is to seek him. His own part is to add every other thing that is needed. Everything you require. What are you thinking? He did it for Solomon. He said, what you have asked for, I will do. And what you have not even asked for, he said, I will add. Amen. And up to today, that promise is time. I pray that tonight, God will give you greater promises that you and your children, even if your generations unborn, they will live to enjoy. Amen. Win souls, reach out to people, tell people about the love of Christ, tell people about the great one that can do all things, the one that answers all prayer, the whole world. Coming to that knowledge is a saving grace for us to get rid of everything threatening the destiny of man, even at this hour, even at this period. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we pray? My Father and my Savior, we bless you at this hour. Thank you for the exposition into your world. Thank you for giving us an insight to that which you can do. Oh, you are a God that answers prayer. We are grateful for this privilege, for this power, for this grace that we have in you. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you because we are listening and hearing you because we are not infected with coronavirus. Thank you because you continually keep us sick. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I'm many that are already infected with COVID-19, I declare you healed. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As many who have fear, as many who have one point or the other in their mind, as many who are asking questions, God, I have all this request. Please answer me. Tonight, my Heavenly Father, Lord, because of this opportunity and this platform, Father, let your children, let them encounter you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you are a God that gives beautiful ashes. Lord of heaven and earth, you converted failure to success. For everyone who has failed in their various endeavors, Lord, go to the roots of whatever problem that caused the failure and turn things around in their favor Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For everyone who is rejected, for everyone who is lonely, for everyone who is in lack of one thing or the other, for everyone who is sick, I declare a breakthrough right now Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Eternal Father. Thank you, Lord. Your testimony shall be permanent. Amen. My God is able to save to the other who that God will keep you Amen. able to the very end. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Jesus, I thank the Almighty God for your life, for this word of life that has come unto you. And I pray your testimony shall be permanent. Amen. I will hear your testimony. Amen. You will hear my testimony. Amen. And until I come your way again, remain in the atmosphere of blessing. I keep praying. Because beginning from now, because you have made up your mind to serve the Almighty God. Before you call, heaven shall answer you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Stay blessed. Amen.